It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We have one of those kind of love it or hate it beers, I think, today on the channel. Um, lots of people dislike this beer. Lots of people like it. Um, I went into my local Sainsbury's. It was reduced down to £2 a can. Maybe it's been discontinued at this stage. It's madness, though, because I was in my local Brewdog bar just three weeks ago, and this was on sale for £6. So to be able to find this now at £2 reduced down in Sainsbury's, I don't know, I don't, I don't hold my kind of hopes too high for this beer. But of course, we go into every single beer review 100% kind of independent. It's a white chocolate and raspberry milkshake IPA. Tony's are a Dutch chocolate company that makes some absolutely fabulous chocolates. I love their chocolate. When I went to the Netherlands uh, a few years ago, um, I seen this brand for the first time. I went into a shop and this shop had this t kind of Tony's chocolate on a, on, a, on a wall and they had so many different colours and flavours. It was unreal. I was thinking i got to go back to the UK after brewing a beer in the Netherlands but I need to choose a chocolate bar for my kid and even as a 40 year old man at the time 39 40 year old man I was like I don't know which one to choose this stuff looks amazing it was almost like I went in blind and just grabbed three chocolate bars and brought them home to the UK but anyway they've done a collaboration with Brewdog they called Tony's Chocolate Tony or Tony's Chocolate or something like that um, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. It's a 6.3% ABV milkshake IPA. I'm not being, I'm not going into this review, not going into this review with any conceptions, with any overriding thoughts. Just independent. A bit like the Palmer Violet from Brewdog. I never thought I was going to like it, but I loved it. I loved that bit. I thought, do you know what? They're not hiding behind the fact that, you know, they're not, they're not trying to tell you that it's this style of beer or that style of beer. They were telling you that it's a beer with Palmer Violets in. And I like Palmer Violets, and I could taste them, and I liked it. So you never know. You never know, I might like this beer. I might hate it. All we can do, all we can do is review it. We got a two finger white head, hazy, straw colored beer, lots of haze going on. Um, lots of sediment as well. There's quite a bit of sediment in this, this can of beer, which I think is a good thing. I like a bit of sediment in my beer. Slow moving carbonation, let's get the aroma. Oh, I can I, I can see right away why this is such a divisive beer. It's just, it smells like Haribo. This, I mean, I went to Morrison's this morning and I and I bought some Haribo for my for my kids for the weekend and. I go, ooh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a kind of sweet tooth Haribo type of person. We'll watch a family movie, movie together. They all sit one under the settee with their, with their Haribos and chocolates and whatever, and I'll sit at the other end of the settee watching the same movie, of course, with a nice kind of beer. But I don't think mixing the two is a good thing. I'm not a sweet, I'm not a sweet tooth fan. So already. If you're if you're not if you don't have a sweet tooth, then don't bother with this. This stinks of Haribo. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh man. Oh blimey. Who passes this stuff? I mean, to get 
Tony's on board and Brewdog. It must have taken a, a monumental kind of effort to come up with this collaboration. And they've gone, the marketing department have gone, yeah, this is a brilliant idea. And, and they've gone, right, we're going to do this white chocolate and raspberry thing. And if I don't like to name check them these days because they're way above the walking around the brewery pay scale. And I, I bet they haven't been to one of their breweries in a long time. So perhaps I won't mention the owners, but I can't imagine them opening the fermenter trying a little sample of this beer and going yeah that'll work that'll work you know the same guys that once spoke and drank with michael jackson the great beer writer and, and produced a beer in his honor a terrific terrific series of beer that you can still buy today it's that um Paradox, I think it's called the Paradox series of beers. Some of the beers can cost between ten to twenty pounds a bottle. It comes in a box. It's tremendous. It's really worth it. But those same people speaking and and, and producing the Paradox for me can't be the same people that produce this tripe. Oh my goodness me. It does have white chocolate, it does have raspberry flavours, but in the same sense that you would expect to taste white chocolate and raspberry from a bag of Haribo's that had flavour of white chocolate and raspberry on the bag of their sweets. It has that artificial flavour going on. Um, I suppose if I wasn't being too harsh, I, I suppose if I was being one of those marketing people, if you were a Sweet Tooth fan, if you were a chocolate lover that loves this company, then you might slightly like this beer. But I think for the general beer public, the general person that rocks up to their supermarket, even buying this reduced at two pounds a can, I feel is a waste of money because I'm just gonna do this from a distance, you know? I'm just I'm just gonna pour that away because it's it, it's just not something that I wanna put in my body. It really isn't. Um I've gone way past the point of of ranting about Brewdog beer. Way, way past the point of that. Because the company that I once knew who produced terrific beer is not that same person. And by the way, Brewdog, I'm the guy that throws the pin bag over the back garden of their wall. I'm that guy. You know that person that you mentioned in your advert? The, the person that doesn't, maybe the people that don't care, and you see them throwing a bin bag over the wall. Yeah, that's me. Um, I'm going to rate this. And I'm going to rate this as a shocking, shocking beer at 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.